Hey. I'm Roy. Yeah, I figured. That you said you didn't read much. Wow, well, what is much? Good night, Rory. Good night, Dodger. Jess, this is Dean. Boyfriend? Of course. Sorry, you didn't say. You changed your hair. What? Your hair looks different. So, segue's not your thing, huh? Is it? Well, um, no, I wear it like this a lot. Why? It just looks different. Oh, bad different? If you care about me at all, you will take that into consideration and you will be mildly polite to her. What makes you think I care about you? I, I, I don't mean care, care, like care. I, I, I mean, if you like me at all, not like, like. I just meant that if, if you think of me remotely as the sort of person that you could occasionally stand to talk to, then you'll try to get along with my mom, that's all. Okay. Ow. What? Oh. I just twisted my ankle. I better go lay down. Jess. God, you're no fun when you're tense. Are you sure you want me to go? Because maybe this whole thing can be solved between me and Dean if we just sat down, had a little heart to heart. He could tell me his issues. I'll tell him mine. Jess. I promise I'll speak slowly. Bye. OK, well, give him my best, would you? I made sure she was OK. I know you did. Why did you come? What? I said, why did you come here? Well... I mean, you ditched school and everything. It's so not you. Why'd you do it? Because you didn't say goodbye. Oh. Bye, Rory. Bye, Jess. She's not home. She's at Suki's wedding with Dean. They're still together. They seem to have gotten through the whole car incident. They're doing really good, Dean and Rory. Good. Just leave it alone, Jess. She's got a boyfriend. Just let it go. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going out for a walk. What are you doing here? We'll move back. What? We we'll move back. But what? Why? Just one and two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rory. Don't say a word. Okay. I have to go. Oh, welcome home. I know you had this crush. It wasn't a crush. Well, I thought it was over. I mean, you haven't talked to him since Suki's wedding. How do you know if a guy is right for you? You just have to feel it. All I feel is my back breaking out. You'll know, okay? You just have to let it happen. And then, probably when you're not looking, you'll find someone who compliments you. Meaning? Someone who likes what you like. Someone who reads the same books, or listens to the same music, or likes to trash the same movies. Someone compatible. Okay. But not so compatible that they're boring. Someone who's compatible, but not compatible. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you respect each other's opinions, and you can laugh at the same jokes, but I don't know, there's just something about not quite knowing what the other person's gonna do at all times. It's just really exciting. I could care less about you and Shane. Good. It just surprised me, that's all. Why? Because. Because why? Because of what happened at Suki's wedding. Uh, yeah, so me coming back here and just seeing you with Shane just kind of threw me for a sec. I'm sorry, did I hear from you at all this summer? Did I just happen to miss the thousands of phone calls you made to me, or did the postman happen to lose all those letters you wrote to me? You kiss me. You tell me not to say anything. Very flattering, by the way. You go off to Washington, then nothing. Then you come back here all put out because I didn't just sit around and wait for you like Dean would have done? And yeah, what about Dean? Are you still with him? Because last time I checked, you were. And I haven't heard anything to the contrary. Plus, the two of you walking around the other day like some damn Andy Hardy movie, Seemed to me like you're still pretty together. I half expected you to break into a barn and put on a show. When did you see me with Dean? That, that stupid summer insanity plea the town put on. Oh, I'm surprised you could see anything with Shane's head plastered to your face. You didn't answer me. About what? Did you call me at all? No. Did you send me a letter? No. Postcard? No. Smoke signal? Stop. A nice fruit basket. Enough. Are you still with Dean? 
Come on, Rory. Yes or no? Are you still with Dean? Yes, I'm still with Dean. Yes. Glad to hear it. Glad to tell you. See you around. Whatever. Right back at you. Things are good? Oh, yeah. Really good. School? Good. Still gonna do the Harvard thing? Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. Then just ignore me and pay attention to your boyfriend. Sorry, she can't. I'm not her boyfriend anymore. What? You know, I tried to ignore this. <laughs> I really did. But I don't know what the hell I was thinking. What are you talking about? You don't want to be with me, Rory. Yes, I do. Oh, please. You've been into him since he got to town. And I've spent weeks, months actually, trying to convince myself that it wasn't true, that everything was fine between us. But now I know that I was an idiot. You're into him, and he's into you, and Shane, who, by the way, should be listening to this, because it's so damn obvious. What's obvious? What did I do? Everyone can see, Rory. Everyone. And I'm tired. But I'm over it. So go ahead. Go. Be together. There's nothing standing in your way now, because I'm out. He was right. Everything he said. All those things about you and me, all those things about me lying to him and messing with his head. He was right. Well, wasn't he? Fine, he was right about me then. Now go away. He was right. About all of it. So, what now? You definitely broken up with Dean? Yeah. I'm Definitely broken up with Dean. Okay. Let's go take care of something then. Hi. Hey. You got into a fight with Dean. Unbelievable. Is that it? It always comes back to Dean. Because you bring it there. You brought up Dean. Because you got into a fight with him. Why are you pressing this? Why? I'm trying to make some kind of quasi-positive impression on your grandmother per your request. And you're forcing me to do otherwise. She picked you. God knows why. She knows that's all that matters. Jess, being jealous of Dean. I am not jealous of Dean. Being jealous of Dean is pointless. You're just going to drive Rory away. You want to have a relationship with someone? You're going to have to learn to open up your mouth and say something. Give it a rest, Dr. Phil. You can't shut down. You can't avoid her calls. You want to talk. Well, when are you going to want to talk? I don't know. So what are you going to do? Just keep avoiding her and never take her calls again? She'll find me eventually if she keeps looking for it. Hey, I'm not going to be a wuss like Dean. Dean had that girl for two years. You have a little fight, and after two months, you walk out and it's over? I know there was no fight with Dean. Really? Huh? You asked Dean. It was the only thing I could think to do. Let's go to the source. Yep. I'm sorry I doubted you. It's okay. I would have doubted me too. I need to trust you as much as I trust you. Yeah. yeah. This black guy screwed everything up. Yeah. Next time I go to your grandmother's, I'll try not to have one. Next time? Next time. This is the last weekend I spent sitting around like an idiot hoping you'll call, okay? I'm not going to be that girl. From now on, I want a plan. I mean a real plan with a time and a place. And I'm tired of hearing, let's hook up later. What does that mean? Anyway, what's later? How do I set my watch to later? Later doesn't cut it anymore, got it? And yeah, you know, maybe I am spoiled, but guess what? I like being spoiled. I plan to go on being spoiled. And if that doesn't sound like something that you can or want to do, then fine. I'm sure you'll find another girl who doesn't mind sitting around cleaning her keyboard on a Friday night hoping you'll call, but it's not going to be me. Oh yeah, this is a message for Jess. 22.8 miles. How'd you know that? Do you Yahoo? You looked it up? Yeah. You looked it up. 
I just hit a couple buttons on a computer. You looked it up. I was bored. There was nothing on TV, and I was fooling around. It was something to do. That's it. You looked it up. Just wait. Just wait. Jess. Jeez. Not here, not now. Fine. What's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Someone could walk in that door. And Santa Claus could come down the chimney, whatever. You did not think that it was going to happen like this, did you? I don't know what I think anymore. Jess. Rory, stop, just stop. I did not invite you up here. You came up here on your own. <laughs> Figures. Dean, no. Jess is gone. Gone where? I don't know. Luke knows, but he didn't tell me. But he doesn't seem to think he's coming back. Neither do I. You didn't handle things right at all. You could have talked to me. You could have told me that you were having trouble in school and weren't going to graduate and that your dad had been there, but you didn't. And you ended up not taking me to my prom and not coming to my graduation and leaving again without saying goodbye again. And that's fine, I get it, but that's it for me. I'm going to Europe tomorrow and I'm going to Yale and I'm moving on. And I'm not going to Pine. I hope you didn't think I was going to Pine, okay? I think, I think I may have loved you, but I, I just need to, let it go. So, that's it, I guess. Um, I, I hope you're good. I want you to be good. And, um, okay, so, goodbye. That word sounds really lame and stupid right now, but there it is. Goodbye. Believe this. That's not her. I'm leaving. I get to leave first. Roy, wait. Stop. No, you don't get to walk away. Hold on. My town. I leave. I just want to. Where are you going? None of your business. You look like idiots. I don't care. Stop running. Stop following. Oh, come on. Go away. I'm leaving. Rory, stop. Why? Because I want to talk to you. About what? What do you want to talk to me about? When did you learn to run like that? You know, I have actually thought about this moment a lot. What would Jess say to me if I ever saw him again? I mean, he just took off. No note, no call, nothing. How could he explain that? And then a year goes by. No word, nothing, so he couldn't possibly have a good excuse for that, right? I have imagined hundreds of different scenarios with a hundred different great last parting lines, and I have to tell you that I am actually very curious to see which way this is going to go. Can we sit down? No, you wanted to talk, so talk. What do you have to say to me? I love you. Come with me. Where? I don't know. Away. Are you crazy? Probably. Do it. Come with me. Don't think about it. I can't do that. You don't think you can do it, but you can. You can do whatever you want. It's not what I want. It is. I know you. You don't know well, look, me. We'll go to New York. We'll work. We'll live together. We'll be together. It's what I want. It's what you want, too. No. Oh, look, I want to be with you, but not here. Not this place. Not Stars Hollow. We have to start new. There's nothing to start. But you're packed. Your stuff is all in boxes. It's perfect. You're ready. And I'm ready. I'm ready for this. You can count on me now. I know you couldn't count on me before, but you can now. You can. No. Look, you know we're supposed to be together. I knew it the first time I saw you two years ago, and you know it too. I know you do. No, 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 no. But don't say no just to make me stop talking or make me go away. Only say no if you really don't want to be with me. No. Jess. The 
some sect. Written by Jess Mariano. It's no misprint. You wrote a book? A short novel. You wrote a book? I know it's good. Jess, you've got such a great brain. I knew that if you could just sit down and stop shaking it around, you could do something like this. I knew it. I knew it. I know you did. So I just basically wanted to show you that. Tell you. Tell you that I couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. Good to meet my old friend, Jess. This is Logan, my boyfriend, Logan. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I know you. I know you better than anyone. This isn't you. I don't know. What are you doing? Living at your grandparents' place? Being in the DAR? No, Yale. Why did you drop out of Yale? It's complicated. It's not. It's not complicated. You don't know. This isn't you. This. You going out with this jerk? With a Porsche? We made fun of guys like this. You caught him on a bad night. This isn't about him. Okay, screw him. What's going on with you? This isn't you, Rory. You know it isn't. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. You look happier than when I saw you last. I am. So, you fixed everything? Yeah, everything's fixed. Glad you're here. Yeah, me too. What? Um, I'm sorry. Um, about what? Uh, <laughs> I couldn't even cheat on him the way he cheated on me. Who? Who cheated on you? That guy? Oh. You're still with him. Yeah. I thought everything was fixed. Everything but him. I hate this. You should. I'm sorry. You came here alone to Philadelphia. He was out of town. I don't deserve this, Rory. No, you don't. You don't deserve it. I just... I'm in love with him. Despite all the bad he's done, I, I can't help it. I'm in love with him. Love, huh? Yeah. You should write a book. Ugh, thanks for the Naomi Shropshire flashbacks. Lovely. I know what you should write. What? You should write about you and your mom. What? It's a cool story. It's got a point of view. And it's something only you can write. First three chapters. Ah! What was that all about? Oh, uh, just a thing between us? Between you. A work thing between us. Work thing, huh? So then, you're over that, right? Yep, long over that. 